Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we talk about compound interest, there is a very important concept of conversion period. Now you would have seen that uh, in the previous example which I considered, I said that the money is compounded annually. That means the rate of interest is let's say 10% or 5% per annum. So every year that rate of interest is applicable. But sometimes the time period is different. For example, the time period after which the interest is added each time to form a new principal, that time period is called conversion period. So now since in the last example, we considered that the money was compounded annually, therefore that time period was one year. That is after every one year, your principal amount was changing. So it was something like this. Let's say this is one year so after one for one year your principal amount will remain the same after one year your principal amount will change change means the principal amount will become the amount of the first year again after one more year the principal amount will change so that period is called conversion period so whenever we say that the interest is compounded annually that means there is one conversion period so this is one conversion period one year so for one complete year your principal is not going to change when we say the interest compounded half yearly that means after every half year half year would be six months right so after every six months so in that case after every six months that is for the first six months your compound will uh, your uh, principal will remain the same for the next six months your principal will change change means your principal will become equal to the principal it will equal to the amount of the first six months right so now it is basically divided into two conversion periods so this is one conversion period this is one more conversion period so one plus one two conversion period when you say the interest is compounded quarterly that means this interest is actually being divided into four quarters so each quarter is of how much duration three months duration so three months three months three months and three months that means for the first three months your principal will remain the same for the next three months your principal will become equal to the amount of the first quarter for the third quarter your principal will be equal to the amount of the second quarter for the fourth quarter your principal will be equal to the amount of the third quarter and so on so in this case how many conversion period you have one two three four so four conversion period now this is very important as far as compound interest calculation is considered because most of the time students make mistakes in understanding this concept so please understand this, it, this very carefully in compound interest the main catch is that the principal amount doesn't remain the same throughout it changes now when it will change that depends on how the money is compounded or how the interest is compounded if it is annually it will change every year if it is half yearly it will change every three every six months if it is quarterly it will change every three months and so on so let us take an example of interest rate compounded annually so let us say that you have a principal of rupees 10,000 which is compounded annually at the rate of 10% and the time period is given as whatever number of years. So for the first year, what will happen? How will you calculate it, your interest? So for the first year, your interest would be P into R into T by 100. So which would be equal to P into R into T divided by 100. So this is equal to 1000. So your interest at the end of first year would be 1000. Therefore the amount at the end of first year would be 10,000 plus 1000 which is equal to rupees 11,000. So this would be the amount at the end of one year. Right now, since here we have told that the interest rate is compounded annually, that means for the first year, so let's say year number one, your principal amount will remain as 10,000. 
for year number two what will happen yearly the principal should change so for year number two your principal will be equal to the amount of year number one which is eleven thousand similarly for year number three your principal will again change and this will be equal to the amount of year number two Similarly, for year number 4, your principal will be equal to the amount of year number 3 and so on. So, this is what we mean by interest rate compounded annually. Now, let's see what happens when the interest rate is compounded half yearly. So, let us suppose that you have a principal of rupees 10,000 where the rate of interest is given as 10% per year. So that is how your rate of interest is given in the problem and you have to find out the amount that you would receive at the end of one year. So the time period is given as one year but in the problem it is mentioned that the interest is compounded half yearly. So how will you calculate the amount that you will get at the end of one year? So how are we going to calculate this? So for that, the first thing that we have to find out is how many conversion periods are there in the time. So the time period after which for which we have to find out the amount. So that time period here is one year. So in one year, how many conversion periods we have? Now in this case, it is compounded half yearly. So after every half year, your principal will change. So in one year, how many half years do you have? You have two half years. So basically you have two conversion periods. So in one year, you have two conversion period and what is the duration of each conversion period? So each conversion period is of six months duration. So each conversion period is of six months duration. Okay, so once you have found out the convert number of conversion periods and what is the duration of each conversion period, then you need to look back into the rate which is given. So the rate is given as 10% per year. But when you are considering each conversion period as half year, your rate should also be in terms of per half year. So if the rate is 10% half year, that means it is 10 by 2%, that is 5% per half year that's quite obvious so when you say that for one year the rate was 10 percent so for half year the rate would also become half the rate would become 10 by 2 that is 5 percent per half year now this portion is very important so now when you calculate the amount at the end of one year this is equal to the principal which is 10,000 into 1 plus r by 100 so r in this case is 5 by 100 to the power n. n is the number of conversion periods. So n is 2. So this is equal to 10,000 into 1 plus 0 0.05 to the power 2 or this is 10,000 into 1.05 whole square. This is equal to 11,025. So the amount that you would receive at the end of one year is rupees 11,025. So whenever your interest rate is compounded half yearly, what happens? First thing you need to do is you have to find the number of conversion periods. Then you have to see how much duration each conversion period is about. So when you get to know the duration of each conversion period, then you should see if the rate is given in terms of that. So here each conversion period is six months or or half year whatever you call it so you must check that the rate is also given in terms of per half year had this been given as 10 percent per half year then there was no uh, need to divide this but since it was given in terms of per year so we divided it by two to get the rate in terms of per half year Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.